Um, so this bath here, um, we have two water baths. This one sits at 62 degrees, this one 48. We cook absolutely everything in this one at 62. So for example, a piece of beef takes 19 minutes at 62 degrees in this bath. After we put it into 48 degrees, and it'll stay medium rare for three to four hours. So if you imagine a piece of beef going into an oven, yeah. and it's got 200 degrees yeah. penetrating it, the proteins in the beef, they strangulate, and you've got a huge hot 200 degrees hitting the outside of it. And so that's why afterwards you need to rest beef and the proteins relax again and it becomes tender. At 62 degrees, 62 degrees is a perfect medium rare. So the proteins in the beef are slowly coming to that perfect tender form. Uh, but one of the most important things, if the beef in the oven at 200 degrees is it, the 200 degrees cooks the outside quite fiercely. Whereas this, when it comes out, you've got a product that's 100% medium rare. Then we drop it at 48 degrees. So we can do this as soon as we've got your order. 48, when you're ready to eat your beef, take it out of the bag, seal it in the pan, and away we go. So it makes my life a lot easier. We don't overcook food too much. Uh, duck breast takes 19 minutes. Snapper takes nine minutes. So there's no air in here. All the air's been taken out of it. So it's cooking in a perfect ambient temperature. Uh, vegetables, we cook at about 80 degrees. Asparagus is 80 degrees for about 18 minutes. Uh, and it's all cooking in its own natural juices. We can flavor them sometimes. We put spices in here. Uh, maybe some flavored oils, lemon oil, mandarin oil in some of the vegetables. And you come out and you've got this vibrant, crispy vegetable. it is well, I talk with the boys and we, we think about a concept and after the concept we come up with flavour matches so we've got a list of things that work well together we find that rock melon works well with fish for some reason it sounds bizarre but we work that out and then we'll work on the texture so we'll transform things into different styles and textures uh, so it comes first it's the idea and the concept, then it's the, the texture, the flavour, finally the presentation. The presentation is the easy part. Once you've got the first three, you're down packed. And I don't, know, I don't really think you can define New Zealand as a, as a cuisine, but rather there's food trends using the same ingredients. New Zealand has the best snapper in the world, the best venison in the world. It's incredible. Uh, New Zealand has, I, I'm Australian. <laughs> and, and I love all of the produce here. Uh, so much of the produce here is exported because the population is quite small here. So we pay a really massive premium for our local products, which is a bit of a shame. But they are world-renowned products.